the biggest takeaways, especially after I've been about eight or nine months in since I left the first seminar, is really what it's come down to is I've been on the five yard line with a couple of deals right now and I was floundering a little bit and this brought me back to the fundamentals, which was great. And at the same time, we got into a, little, a lot more detail. So I think Hardcore is absolutely fantastic for somebody who's in my position. I think the timing was perfect. He's already had my board, accountants, lawyers, and worked a couple of deals. So this, that was the, really the perfect timing for me right now. I, I, I'm very pleased with that. If you're a QLA uh, mentee or devotee, um, and you've been through the summer already, you should, and if you have any sort of questions or you haven't like closed that many deals yet or you want to get better at closing deals, absolutely, that's definitely the way to go. You get into a lot more detail, you get a little more into the weeds on some things, but at the same time, you really focus on, it, on, on really just putting all the steps truly into action. And that's what I thought was, was really valuable. One of the biggest things I, I got out of this was something that Dan had been telling me in weekly reports for weeks. And that finally rang home with me, and now I'm, uh, I can't wait to get after it as soon as I get back. It's worth every penny, and I would do it again a thousand times. Failure is not an option unless you make it an option, and just fucking do it. Well, a lot of takeaways. Uh, number one was the level of detail of deals on either side of the table. Um, and how severe these deals can get, but uh, those are my very, uh, very uh, great experiences here. Um, to all the hardcore that were here, um, everybody had a lot of takeaways. There's a lot of uh, detail going into these deals, and uh, the deals get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but if anybody can direct them and, and unsolve them, obviously Dan is the uh, the person to crack the code. Uh, current um, mentees and devotees, if you guys are interested or or are in the program already, um, it's a big commitment. Um, commitment is the, the first uh, step. Um, it's, it's, no, uh, it's no game. It's actually a very, very serious program. And um, if you're serious about generating generational wealth, this is the place. The QLA Hardcore Experience is very interesting. You go down to the nitty gritty stuff where the deals that I have no experience or background in, I really learned a lot by the simpler deals that you might gonna start with, and then the more intricate, higher levels of deal structure that some of the guys that are way ahead of me are doing. So it's it's been amazing. First of all, you should be here. Everybody should be here. The second thing is there are three things that I believe I got out of it, with, which was number one, was learning different deal structures and what to know in the different deals. The second is that you get to know how to control your board of directors and what to do with your board of directors, how to lead them, which is super important going forward. And number three would be just to be ahead of time. We're simulating, we're practicing being a high performance person. Look, um, it, it teaches you how to put together a deal. How the transaction flows from the negotiations with the seller um, to how you structure those negotiations and prepare that for the bank, how you structure the negotiations for finance and how it all comes together. And, and it, it, it takes you across sectors. You, you, you learn to realize that the, the, the formula is applicable across industries. Um, there's no one particular industry where you have to act different to the other. Yes, maybe the multiples might change from industry to industry, but the principle is the same. Yeah, my takeaway was don't overcomplicate the, over the process. Uh, trust the steps and uh, rely on your board. Look, um, I, I'll, I'll talk specifically in, in our scenario from South African perspective, the devotees that are in South Africa. Um, it's a good platform, uh, the QLA model. Um, coming here to the Kaka Castle takes you out of your comfort zone. Um, it uh, really, really strengthens your emotional side, uh, your psychological, and uh, and prepares you for deal making. So, if you are out there as an entrepreneur in South Africa, and or you want to be an entrepreneur, you're looking for this opportunity. I mean, we just so happened to meet here, uh, uh, Ross and I, and uh, we clicked. 
and we, we're feeding off each other like the rest of the other guys. So um, anyone who's out there and is looking to really raise their game, um, this is the right platform. It's about trusting yourself, trusting the process, trusting your environment and understanding that QLA works across every industry. Well, it's been a very intensive week. Um, we came here on the 20th, today is the 28th, and today is the graduation ceremony, so we spent about eight days. Um, it's been uh, very, very intensive, and uh, I think the most important thing that uh, everyone is going to take away is um, transporting themselves to the next level. The QLA seminar was about mindset, changing mindsets and being able to think big um, and uh, getting to where uh, they've never been to in their lives before. This is about how to get there. This is about looking at the deals that uh, you have to do to get to where you want to go. And uh, virtually every aspect of deal making, of leverage buyouts, of getting financing, of um, obtaining seller, uh, seller fin finance has been covered. Uh, every way in which you can talk to financial institutions is covered. Every way in which you have to look at a financial statement is covered. So anything and everything that you need to to know, to be able to confidently go ahead and do deals was covered in this week's seminar. So it was, uh, I think it's fantastic for everyone. If you're following uh, QLA uh, and uh, if you've done the previous seminar, uh, the QLA seminar, uh, this is a must. I attended the QLA seminar in uh, January, end of January, beginning of February uh, uh, this year. And uh, when I came to December, around the time when the QLA, uh, when the uh, hardcore was being um, uh, held, I realized that I needed some scaffolding. I needed a booster to keep me focused on my goals going forward to attain uh, QLA mastery. And I realized that, uh, and I've said this before, default is a, is a bitch. And uh, regardless of how good you are, you'll be sucked into default. And I think this is very timely in putting me back on the course to achieve what I want to achieve um, as quickly as humanly possible. Now, along the way, it was wonderful for me to be in uh, amongst people in different age groups uh, who are at different stages of deal making. And it was also very uh, rewarding for me to be in an environment where I got to see uh, different industries being rolled up. I'm a technology guy, my, my deals are all around technology, but this week I was able to uh, understand agriculture, uh, retail, uh, dentistry, um, healthcare, uh, real estate, um, and that was wonderful for me because it gave me an overall understanding that while the fundamentals of deal making are still the same, the financial constructs of deal making are the same, but uh, how it can be so easily applied in uh, any industry segment that you want to go into. And uh, I'm looking forward to, I'm taking advantage of this. Today I'm doing technology, but my next round is going to be a lot more broader. So it was wonderful to be here.